Hey guys, I got another one for you here. Uh, this one will be possibly a longer video because it takes longer to actually get a payout. But it's a good way to go at it. If you got the $1,500 to take to the table and you're willing to risk it, uh, you actually have 10 shots using Fibonacci, a uh, $5 bet. 20 shots if you slow down the Fibonacci uh, by half and uh, if you in if you slow it down and increase it you have nine shots so however many rolls that th you think it'll take for you to roll craps take your bets based on that and we're gonna start with a five <laughs> Now, even though that was a win, we will continue. Step number two, also another one, one unit bid. And we will reset this based on when craps wins, not when our pass line wins. And for those of you who don't know Fibonacci, it is one one two three five thirteen no eight thirteen twenty one thirty four which we may actually get to the thirty four this time around or one of these times around. go now we're up to five and eight And we are just having no luck. We're on the edge of all the craps. So after 8 comes 13. So 5, 10. 11, 12, 13 gets us 65. And that's going to hurt a little bit. So after 13, we get 21, which is 105. And after 21, we have 34. So that's 20. 30 and 4 for 170 and we finally have our win so $1,500 buy-in we can pull down the 170 and we are at two twenty three ninety five based on if we lose this pass line so now let's take it on to the next one and this is going to be the same thing only we're going to be doing the slower version and then the last one we will do the slower higher risk version which gotta love these early wins it's giving us that many more chances to uh, give this a shot it literally paid for our first four tri tries And goodbye, advantage. All right, roll number four. Since we've doubled our uh, amount of steps, we will be increasing it now to 10.
And to be honest, I actually want to show a win on the second time that I make a bet. That way, no matter where we end up, we can see whether it's a profit or whether it's a loss. And early on, that very well may depend on how many times you lose the pass line. So anyway, that was the second time at 10. So this time we're going 15. And 15. At least we got another 25. And we're bumping it up to 25 because that was our second time at 15. Could really use a craps right now. <laughs> so second time on 25. And we have a win. So now we take it down. Even though we had fairly bad run, uh, let's see, we won one, lost one pass line. Lost two pass lines. Won two pass lines. So we actually broke even on pass lines and we're up $80. So the slow version is mainly for safety and it, it'll get you a little bit at a time. It gives you a lot more time at the table for a lot less money. Maybe that's something you're looking for. Or if you do trust getting it within nine rolls, let's see if we can this time. We will take the $25 and we will still be doing the slow version which we're gonna go ahead and back out, reset. I don't wanna show a win on the first one because obviously we're gonna be in money. I'm really looking for, let's call it three losses, maybe four, or even seven since it's one to, or seven to one. That'll be a nice, fair way to show it. Oh my goodness. Or if you just roll craps twice in a row early on, you're up $300. <laughs> so let's give this one more shot. Stay away from craps. Give me a six, eight, ten, whatever. Anything else besides craps. I said anything else. Well, maybe this is the secret technique. Just keep bidding craps line, pass line, same amount. All right, we have our first loss. Let's see how far we take it. I at least want to get past the first four. Let us get to the $50 bid and see if we can actually make some money. First four is down. We're going up to the next tier, which is two units. And like I said, this is the slow version, so we'll be doing it twice. And now three. And 
three. And we got a $25 bonus. That's nice. And five. Got another $25 bonus. Keep that cushion coming. And we're doing five one more time. All right. Now eight is 200. Oops. That was supposed to be 200. So I get the math correct at, at the very end. I'm gonna throw $100 on the 12, pretend like I lost it on the last one. And we'll be doing 200 on craps again. Hopefully a 12 doesn't roll. I was about to say watch it be the time. All right. Now, second time at the $200 mark, we have uh, 54, uh, which is actually 270. But Table Max is letting us go to 250, so that's what we got. And we have one last chance. Can we make it? We cannot. So, high risk, high reward. Like I said, high risk. Straight down. It wasn't nine, actually. It was 14 rolls. So, still very possible that you could get it. 14 rolls. I feel like that is a safe way to go, because... Seven to one uh, payout, which means they're expecting it to roll once every seven times. And if you have twice as many chances, then that can only help your odds. Anyway, take all this with a grain of salt. Be smart, be responsible, and good luck.